Hi everyone, with days of testing, now I can finally share the best shadow settings for Oculus Quest. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Right, since the Oculus Quest 2 landed, what I've been doing is I've been testing the settings to try and get virtual desktop to run well on the Oculus 2. This this will also work for the Oculus 1, and these best settings are set up for the Oculus Ghost, the set up for PC gaming, whether any device that you can use shadow on, this should work with VR gaming. Okay, as you can see on the screen right now, I've got the virtual desktop loaded, and that is the settings I would suggest you set your your virtual desktops ready when you open up shadow so that's really important this is also dependent on your internet service supplier now i'm with bt so for me this is set about what basically what i can get the best of this what i'm showing you here today is for the pc okay so once you've copied the virtual desktop streaming settings and you've got your steam open what you want to do is turn down so you want to click on your menu and your allocated bandwidth what we want to do is take it from whatever setting you've got to do and crank it right down to the lowest it can go which for me on this particular device it's five so on for my shadow ghost it can go down to one on my iphone it can go down to five and on my laptop it can go down to one so on this device crank it right down to five now on your pc screen once you've done this you will see a difference in the quality okay once you put your headset on and you've gone into virtual desktop and then you've connected to shadow you want to go to settings and once you're into settings what we want to do is we want to make sure auto connect is ticked you want to make sure use optimal resolution is ticked we want to make sure your environmental quality is set to low we want the frame bit rate to be to 72 frames per second we know we can do 90 but we want it to get it down for shadow and that will actually help you when it comes to steady latency issues you've got desktop bit rate have that set to 18 screen brightness to 100 dynamic lighting always enabled audio background music when disconnected microphone pass through switched on and then advanced bit rate increase color vibrance switched on then you want to go down to streaming right vr graphics quality set to low we want vr frame rate set to 72 frames per second and then your vr bit rate set it to the lowest it can go and minus 32 megabytes per second gamma at 1.14 then we've got sliced encoding switched on extra latency mode switched on and you want increased color vibrance switched on all the rest leave off follow them settings as you see you can have version this is for version 1.17.1 and above so that's the, that's the settings that we want to set it to if you can get shadow to run bt but perfectly with no issues then you're fine as you can see there i'm getting no latency issues whatsoever when i was setting the controllers up and i'm basically well we're just going to run the game to show that i'm getting no lag no latency lag And this is running on shadow no issues whatsoever and they're on the settings that i've just shown you so it's giving you a really good indication that it works and it works really really well this is running on the oculus quest 2 this will work for the oculus quest 1 as well so as you can see there you can you can clearly see that shadow's running at 72 megahertz there and we're getting a nice little um two three ms no issues whatsoever so the game's running nice and smooth we're actually just going to have a look at the steam virtual desktop so while shadow is connected to the oculus quest you can see the latency from the actual virtual desktop apps running from 40 up to 50 jumps every now and again that is a perfect gaming experience some will go oh no it's not for virtual for, um, for the quest that's good right and there we have it that in my opinion is the best settings that you can use right now to have the best vr gaming experience while using shadow and a quest and once again it works on all all shadow devices that you, if you can put shadow on it basically it'll work on it if you enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate it if you give it a like if you could also hit the bell button so because there's going to be plenty more updates help me support the channel and um, a lot of work's gone into this and i'd really appreciate your support and i'll thanks for watching